Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today is a little bit different. I'm going to do a product test, like a live product test. So this is my first impression slash actually seeing how a really hype product has worked out. So have you guys ever tried the Wonder Brow? It kind of came up in the last couple of months. Um, I saw a lot on Facebook advertising and then I started seeing like a few people here and there try to use it on YouTube, but not a lot. So Wonder Brow is apparently a one-step brow gel with perfect eyebrows that last for days. It has Permafix technology and then it says perfect brows in under two minutes. My good friend Ebony actually gave me this product because the product was too light for her. So I told her, hey, I'll give it a shot. It was $22. I didn't pay for it. She did. Um, and yeah, so it says under two minutes and it has a blend of hair-like fibers with special pigments to fasten onto the skin and hair and, and you just apply it with this little wand on here um, it's kind of like this color right here is supposed to be black brown but it's crazy because it doesn't look black brown it definitely looks like a dark taupe and that was one of my friend Ebony's kind of complaints about it so you see that it's got a little lip gloss kind of lip gloss brush with little bristles and you could go like this, but when I actually saw the actual advertisement on Facebook, what they did is they took an angle brush and applied it. So I'm going to do the same thing. Alright, so let's see. What, let's go ahead and take a countdown really quick because it should only take two minutes. Alright, so two minutes. Alright, so what I'm going to do is do my brows how I normally would. And excuse my crazy hair. I slept in a bun and it's really big. Alright, so I'm just going to take a little bit of product on the back of um, off the lip gloss wand part and then we're just going to go ahead and apply so I'll try to get this on quickly like it's a very wet product so just be careful I'm, I'm immediately noticing that because you don't want to overdo it so I'm just kind of lightly underlining it the interesting thing is though, is although it's like really liquidy, it's not super pigmented. Like a dip brow pomade from Anastasia or like a gel liner, it's not like that. It's a little bit more sheer, but super liquidy. So let's go ahead and apply some more. Again, I'm not trying to get like a really opaque brow. I'm trying to get a really realistic brow. So I'm just kind of like creating little hairs and then making sure that the shape is what I want. This is definitely not black brown because I know for a fact that my eyebrows, um, when I try to fill them in, I use a lighter color like this because my hair is lighter. So the color is off. So if you do have really dark brows, I don't think this is for you. At least not this this tint. There might be other colors out there. I'll look them up. So again, it took me a couple of dips into the product. It does seem like it, it does maybe have some fibers in it because it does seem like it's building up the volume of the brown, not just the color. So another dip back in. Like this is like the fourth dip back in to kind of get a full brow. So, keep on doing this. In the tutorial online, I also saw them taking the actual wet lip gloss wand and drawing onto it to fill it in. You just have to be really careful if you do this because it is super wet and slippery. Alright, so that's one brow done. Let's like, give that a second to dry and I'm going to go ahead and do the other brow. So the crazy thing is, is that when I try to build above my brow to make it thicker, where there is no hair, it's kind of creating that shadow which I don't like. Like I want it to look like little hairs in there as opposed to the sheerness. And you know, we always have a good brow and that's my better brow. 
for sure. I'm trying to push my, push my brush a little harder to get that um, darkness that I want. It's not working on this side. Do you see how it's like really sheer right there? So I just got more product. I'm just kind of clumping it on to create the illusion of hairs. My brows are definitely are clumping up right now. Do you see how it's super clumpy? So it doesn't say this in the tutorial, but I'm going to run a spoolie over it because that does not look right. Let's go ahead and just run the spoolie over it. Yeah, that helps to spread out those fibers. Yeah. All right, so then in the tutorial online, they also clean it up with concealer, so I'm gonna do that too. So I'm checking my clock, and apparently it's been six minutes to get this look, and I'm not happy with it. Um, I kinda wanna go in with a brow pencil and fill in those gaps, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm gonna try to rock with this and see how it holds up throughout the day. I cut a, see this big old gap right there? And I usually can do my brows in under two minutes with like a pencil or a powder. But I will say this does feel like it's thickening my brow. Like I can feel that I could see the fibers. They are a little clumpy though. Okay, so that's the final look. Let's go ahead and take a picture so I can remember this. And then I'm gonna let this stay um, and see how it holds up throughout the day. And I'm not mad at the color. It is a bit cool toned. Um, so if you like warmer brown, this is probably not for you. But I'll look on the website and see what other shades they have too. So let's go ahead and I'll come back later at the end of the day and see how long it lasts. And I'm also going to put some on the back of my hand. And you know how like you swatch a product and it lasts on your hand? We'll see if it really does last a couple days. So see you guys later. Hey guys, okay, so I am back for my update on the Wonder Brow application. I did the original um, eyebrow application at about 12.20ish p.m. and now it's 9.54, so it's been on for about nine and a half hours, which is a pretty long time. So I did notice a few things, like as the day progressed, like when I would kind of look in the mirror, I was like, these brows, even though they started out light, because this is obviously a very light color in the packaging. They look like they darkened up. So this is called black slash brown. And maybe it is for black slash brown hair. And maybe it's because it darkens up because this is definitely a darker brow. And um, if they have a lighter shade, then maybe it's even lighter looking than this and it just kind of darkens as you wear it. So the color uh, the color choice is, is pretty accurate. My brows have not faded at all. They have not. Um, I had lunch, I taught a makeup class, did some laptop work. Um, let me see, I'm gonna run my fingers over them. So, when I run my fingers over it, I definitely feel the product. Um, it feels like, I can feel the fibers because it feels like a little fuller. It's not coming off on my fingers. So that's a good thing. Yeah, it's definitely not coming off. But I can feel little chunks of it, so I think if I scraped it off, it would come off. So this thing says that it lasts for days. I'm gonna be crazy and sleep in it overnight and see what it looks like in the morning. I also put it on the back of my hand too, just to kind of test it and see how long it lasts. Um, so yeah, so far, so good. I still see this little area, this little opaque area right here where I feel like it doesn't look quite right but I feel like if I played with it a little bit more and maybe even put a little bit of brow um, pencil over it, it would be, that would solve that problem. But I was just trying to use it on its own. So I will be back tomorrow morning with the brows. Hey guys, so I just wanted to film my morning after update on Wonder Brow. So I slept in it. As you can see, I took everything off 
of my face like on my other makeup and I tried not to even get close to the brows. So I noticed like throughout the night I would like kind of accidentally scratch my brow um, and I would feel the product, the clumpy, the clumpiness of the product on there. So if you look closely, you can see it's still dark over the brow area um, where there's existing brow hair. But the parts where I try to fill in, like especially like in this little corner, um, you could see it, like it got scraped off because it didn't have the hair to cling to. So does it last multiple days? Probably will last. Um, like it will have a residue, but it won't last in the perfect condition that you probably want it to. And I wouldn't leave my house like this because it looks not as mess. It looks a little messy now. And then on my hand, you can still see the product did last on my hand. So it is long wearing. Um, I just noticed that when I woke up, like it just kind of had lint caught on there and it's just kind of, it is a little bit, like I said, clumpy. Um, how do I feel about the product? I don't think it's the best brow product for $22. I think I can make it work. Um, I think I still, though, I prefer the traditional method of um, pencil powder and maybe even the dip, da, the dip pomade just because it looks a little bit neater. Um, but like I said before, you can try it out and combine it with its existing product. So let's say that I want to go ahead and use a pencil with this. So let me grab a pencil. I can do the outlining that I want with this in addition with this, using this to kind of volumize the brows as well as fill in the sparseness. And that might work a little bit better. I don't think I would use this product by itself anymore, but I'll still continue to use it. And if anything changes, I'll let you know. But for $22, you know, it's a little bit pricey. Um, so if you're obsessed with brows and you just want to try, I would say go for it. If you're on a budget, I would probably skip it. But um, overall, an interesting product. I do like the fact that it does add brow fibers um, and it is long wearing and that um, it's pretty much one step. I don't like the fact that I can't get the definition that I want. It does get a little bit clumpy and um, it doesn't look quite as neat as my other brow applications. So if you're interested in this product, I'll leave the link below, not sponsored at all. I'll have details as well on my blog at makeupbyrenren.com. So I hope you guys enjoyed this post and until next time, have a great night. Ciao, fellas.